You know, whenever we do a movie review episode of our podcast, I always like to keep one expression in the back of my mind. Movies maketh man. Do you know what that means? Well, then let us teach you a lesson. Today's subject, Matthew Vaughn's latest comic-to-screen adaptation, Kingsman, The Secret Service. Does it make its way up the high ranks or fizzle under pressure? Larry, are we going to awkwardly infuse movie quotes into the intro of our review? Are we going to review this movie? Well, I guess you're right, Sean. My name is Larry. My name is Sean. And my name is Max. I got and this, that. Uh, yeah, very nice. And this is Rule Thirds. This intro will self-destruct in three, two, one. Uh, we have this system that we do on our po- on our podcast. Whenever we review a movie, the first thing that we do is we get out all of our thoughts in little mini reviews uh, and give our scores. And then after we're done giving our little you know small condensed thoughts, we eventually we just let out and go into spoiler territory for the rest of the episode. So um, we're going to get that started right now. We're going to have Max, who is fresh out of the theater of mm-hmm. Kingsman for this episode, give his thoughts. Okay. Um, let's see. Kingsman The Secret Service is all of the fun of uh, a 60s spy thriller masked with the um, fun of an action movie, like of the modern day, without the charm of either of those categories. It's still a good time. It's utterly ridiculous and completely profound I mean, and completely like un... Like, and spectacularly, um... Do I just call it dumb, Max? Well, I was going to say stupid, but it's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it works, and it's got some of the best action I've seen perhaps in the last year. Matthew Vaughn really is a prodigy when it comes to action, and, you know, I still enjoy it myself. It's dumb as a bag of hammers it might be. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7 out of 10. All right, Sean, what do you got? Well, I think uh, Kingsman Secret Service was a... Completely safe, completely unremarkable little paint by numbers that hit its paint by numbersness under the you know ass- assumption that we thought it was being fun with its you know references to previous spy movies when all it did was just take note for note other better spy movies. And I actually thought the action was surprisingly weightless and really a terrible approach to action that I hope does not continue in the future. And, but I did enjoy parts, and I didn't. It's not like I hated it, so I'm going to give it a four out of ten. All right, and uh, now it's time for my side. Um, you know, a part of me really wants to just let loose on how much fun Kingsman was for me. I mean, like Vaughn's style, as Max said, it's it's more alive here than it's ever been. If you've seen his past work, this this fits right in there. Um, it bore, like the violent the violence literally borderlines are cartoonishly enjoyable um, and the cast here is is great I think that's one of the highest uh, selling points but really I just feel there are a few things about Kingsman that are scattered all over the film that really keeps the entire piece from really feeling as cohesively great as it really could have been uh, I feel it's kind of shoddy some parts are good some are bad some are really really good uh, and you know by the end we just kind of get a film that's while well made it's not really substantial enough to be, like, one of the great movies it's actually trying to be. Uh, So I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Uh, That's that's my grade for it. I enjoyed it, but again, uh, it it, it disappointed me just a bit. Uh, And I had a really hard time coming up with that grade. I was was going really between numbers for this one. So I'm really interested to see what you guys thought. Maybe help solidify my grade. Maybe push it up, push it down. Who knows? 